Senator Christopher Ekpenyong, representing Akwaibom Northwest, says the Electoral Act must be looked into properly to give Nigerians the opportunity to choose their leaders. Ekpenyong made this known to journalists in Abuja after he was sworn in by the President of the Senate, Dr. Ahmad Lawan. Thank God I've come back to meet the discussion on the Electoral Act, Act amendment. amendment because I'm going to contribute what I've seen practically. The electoral, the, the electoral, the electoral uh, bill and act must be looked into properly to give Nigerians opportunity to choose their leaders. Our electoral act has to be reviewed to give opportunity. People are talking of electronic voting system. Yes, electronic voting system would have been too good if every Nigerian are educated. But when you look at the poor, the uneducated in the farm, I think the what we could do or we should do now is to ensure that the card reader, the card reader become a device, a very strong device, both in the accreditation and in the examination of who votes at the elections. And it must be the count the card reader that determines the votes that is being casted. And not just saying when we go to the court, the court will tell you the card reader is just a mere device is not recognized by law. So we must make sure that the card reader is recognized by law. That is the only way we can improve on our electoral system. While fielding questions on what to be expected from him as a senator from his constituency, Ekpanyong pointed out that his people always confess and as such will be properly empowered. According to Ekpanyong, barely 24 hours after his election, he already went ahead to empower some people of Akwaibum Northwest. I think I immediately, I think it was 24 hours after my election, I empowered 108 people of Akwaibum Northwest. I did not do second dancing. I did not invite dancers and band, you know, and trumpet blowers. All I did was to invite one person per word because I have 108 words. I invited them to my to the hall in my local government area and brought even somebody from Abuja here from the um, office that is the what we call the border community agency to come because that was where the the uh, I mean, what, what, what we call <coughs> Centurial uh, District um, Project was a uh, warehouse. So I invited the rice in 2019. What I did was, first was to make sure that whatever was released by the federal government, when you talk about empowerment, empowerment, that the people are not doing, uh, you know, the Senate is not doing, well, for my own I did. But whatever was released, I took it back to the people, but I make sure they were taught on two things, fishery, because I'm a fish farmer, on poultry, because I'm a poultry farmer, in spite of being an engineer, in spite of being an, a very serious entrepreneur, probably a lot of, most of you don't know my history. So after, they were thinking that they were going to be empowered two weeks after or one month after, but they were surprised when I met with cash. Eh? There was, none of them left there, 108 of them, none of them left there with anything less than 100,000 naira. And I told them, I started business in 1989, October 4th, with a sum of 300 naira, not 300,000, 300 naira. I said, if you take this money, you go and buy three kgs or four kgs of you know, pullet, which is about 200. And you'll not charge them. In three months, in four months, by the time you start selling, you would have made more than 500,000 eh, naira. That is how I impacted on the people. So, answering what I'm going to do. So, that's the beginning. Which means in the 2020 budget, whatever is entrenched there, they will get more and more. 